Joining us on the stage is Mitchell Johnson. Hello everyone, how you doing? Uh, so my name is Mitchell Johnson. So before we start this presentation, I'd like to give you guys a background about a great person in my life. It's my grandmother in the middle. Her name is Maurice Johnson. Uh, she was an educator at a school entitled Garden City Elementary. It was located on Houston, Texas's north side. That's where I'm from, that's my roots. And it housed a space for students to learn about their history, uh, they could host talent shows, socialize, and just be themselves. Uh, integration was happening at the same time, too, so uh, students were getting bused into other areas, so there was like this uh, modular aspect of cultures and different ideas being produced. But I took inspiration from my grandmother as an artist and educator, and I moved to New York City. I got to teach students of the same backgrounds. Uh, some that weren't exposed to graphic design and art, some that didn't get to go to museums and be exposed to other artists' bright ideas. I also got the chance to show my own work. I'm a fine artist and graphic designer, so I like to show my work from time to time. To get inspiration, I go to museums. I go to the Guggenheims, I go to the MoMA's, Museum of Art and Designs, you name it, new museums. But one thing I see, or a lack of what I see, is artists that come from my background, or artists that I resonate with. So that got me to ask myself and ask my friends, colleagues, why is there this lack of diversity? And I saw it as a problem as my, myself because I'm an artist, so I want to show at these galleries one day. I want to show at these museums. So I got to do research and did you know, my, my statistical research, and I found that a lot of the representation of these artists of color are not being shown in these museums. So look at the numbers, it's low, really low. And that's very discouraging. So I got to ask myself too, well, if there's a funneling of these artists coming from, uh, let's see, high school, middle school to high school and into college, and they want to get into this field, what do they have to do? Well, they do like me and try to get into their master's degree or take further education. And then still we see low numbers. Again, very discouraging. So to combat this, I came up with a project entitled Plex. So what does Plex mean? I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. So <laughs> where I grew up, we use this term to describe someone or something that we just completely did not like. Or in, for lack of better words, we just wanted to fight you. Like we Plex, it is what it is. Like let's just get it over with. But in this case, I wanted to use it for something positive. So let's fight inequality. Let's fight this lack of diversity. So what's the mission of Plex? Uh, the mission of Plex will provide a platform for black and brown students to learn about their history, create works of art, and partner with venues that would like to showcase their works. So who's my audience? Starting off with students that come from similar areas to my, as myself, black and brown students, underserved communities who don't have access to adequate arts education, partnering artists, and partnering schools that would like to be involved. So let's get into the product. I came up with a lesson plan entitled the I Am Lesson Plan. So it's basically you visualizing what you see in your community and how you can take that and make a work of art and, and utilize it as in, to, in a venue. So there will be an enlightenment phase, an expression phase, and an empowerment phase. So let's start with an enlightenment phase, the product. The lesson plan will consist of two hour workshops 
and there will be two days a week at a partnering school. So students will learn a fundamental art and design uh, lesson and also how to create projects based on community observation. So there'll be critical thinking skills happening at the same time. They will not just be making works just because. Um, and art and design through the lens of their history. So not only will you be getting uh, good education, but also you get to find out leaders that resonate with the backgrounds that you come from. So the objective is to create artworks based on a selected topic, showcase at a partnering venue again, and to continue the cycle for future participants. So it's nothing wrong with learning about the Frank Stellas, the Steve Hellers, the Stefan Sagmeisters, great guys, <laughs> but let's be more inclusive and learn about other people's histories and people's histories that I came up learning, such as Shirley Chisholm, Philip Imiguala, and Mae Jemison, who was the first black woman to enter space. I got to do a workshop series at a Boys and Girls Club of Harlem, and it was awesome. I learned about what these students found important to themselves, their community, and their families, and just things that were on their mind. And they had to start off with a manifesto, so I want to see how powerful you are, but you have to write it down, because that makes it real, that, makes it, that puts it into fruition. And that led into the expression phase. So I got to do the workshop. Some of these students wanted to be uh, like create watches that could read DNA, uh, taxi cab drivers, photographers, you name it. Um, I also know one thing, never use paint in a workshop full of uh, second graders because they will walk out and they'll be painting the back of their shirts and their hair, so, so on and so forth. But it was beautiful, and I got to learn about what they found close to their hearts. And they got to learn about history. So the end result of this was posters. So they came up with collages. It was all manual. I do believe constriction breeds creativity, so there was no computers. They actually told me there would be computers and there wasn't. So it was impromptu, which was awesome as well. And this was some of their projects. So to continue the process, I said, why not show it at a venue? So I formed a poster exhibition for their works. So getting back to why this is important, I got insights from my mentor and his partner, Joseph Kouye and Shawnee Peters. And he states, it is ha hard for black men to get exposure as artists and twice as hard for black women. So now we don't see the diversity in these museums and we don't see other people's ideas or my people's ideas. But with that comes empowerment. I showed the students' works at Sugar Hill Children's Museum, and the beautiful thing about that museum is it functions as a space for low-income housing, and also it houses a museum. So they hold workshops there. So it was really hands-on, and it was amazing working with other artists and other students while the work was being presented. So in the future, I want to continue this process and have more workshops use cameras, use technology to further the students' works. And also partner with other donors and stakeholders who would like to be a part of the program so they can see the cycle of something nice, some, something that, means, that is meaningful. And to show the students' work, there will be a website. And the website will be a portal for you to engage with the students' works, engage with the teachers, and engage with the venues that we partner with. If you're an educator, drop a note. Hey, I'm um, such and such. I would like to be a part of your program and be a part of your workshops. I have artists that would like to participate. My plan is to take this back to Houston, Texas as well. Um, that's where I'm from and that's my hometown and I would love to continue here in New York for the next five years, but let's bring that thing on down to Texas. <laughs>
let's bring it down to Texas. So we can see the next curator, the next artist and museum director. Before we end, I would like to leave you guys with a quote. Uh, societies never know it, but the war of an artist is the war with, is a, with her society is a lover's war. And she does what lovers do, re reveal the beloved to herself to make freedom real. And that's a quote from James Baldwin. If you're an educator, an artist, or just someone who would like to be involved, I would love for you to be in contact with the portal. So email me, drop a line through the web, and I'm always on Instagram. So check it out. Thank you.